Hey everyone, Martha and I are out at the Kissimmee KOA uh, Southwest down by Davenport, Florida. We just auto leveled the rig for the first time and I'll tell you, it scared the crap out of me. We just auto leveled the rig for the first time and I'll tell you, it scared the crap out of me and it was such a simple process. One button and stay out of the way. Uh, but I will admit for a first timer on this big rig, it's nerve wracking. So understand that if you're going through that, we feel you. I'll tell you, even unhooking was nerve wracking yesterday and I've watched a crap ton of videos on how to set this thing up, how to do the fifth wheel hitch. First time I did it, still scared me exciting we picked up our brand new alliance valor 42 v13 on friday dropped it off at the koa came back the next day and loaded everything into the garage and today we auto leveled and we're going to kind of settle in so we are taking our time to unpack and make this our home yeah. so on the way from the dealership to our campground the only thing we noticed was that the pantry door opened during transit which not a big deal. And I believe Chris said that there was no damage done. It just came open. Yeah, and with the door, I've noticed, what I've noticed about with this door is it has a little bit of a spring pressure. So in order for this to latch, you gotta put a little oomph into it. So there's a likelihood that as we were checking it as part of the PDI, we didn't push hard enough to keep the door latched, but no damage, no concerns. That's part of getting to know your new rig. And that may have been me. All right, left side's good. Let me go check the right side. All right, slide track's clean. Okay, slide track is clean and we are go. So I moved the slide out just a little um, to give us a little more walking room. I'm now gonna have Martha go outside and be on the outside because I know my power pole is good. I looked at it when we backed in and it was clear. Uh, but you know, Murphy, he's a good friend of mine and he likes to visit anytime I think I know something. So Martha's gonna go take a look, watch the power pole. If anything happens or I need to stop, Martha just thumps on the slide. I stop, we gather, figure out what's up, and then we go from there. Yeah, that's our communication. Our communication methods with our trailer. Yeah, very simple, right? Just literally all she does, if something's up, she just, and I stop moving. It is a beautiful day here in Florida. A little bit of that liquid sunshine is coming down on us. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and knock to let Chris know. Okay. So I let Chris know that the slide is good and that I was out here. As you can see, we're plenty far away from the box. I think I did a great job. So <laughs> she snuck up on me like a ninja. Uh, so this is our command center for our Cummins Onan. We've got a uh, 5,500 watt built on board with an auto start. Uh, our gen from the factory was set up to manual. I just switched it over to auto on. Uh, that would have been nice because for example here, our batteries are only at 5%, so they ran down to 3% because it had been sitting in a dealership for six weeks. If this would have been set to auto on, once it hit down to that level without any other power, it would have automatically kicked on. So now ours is set to auto on. So whatever reason we lose uh, shore power, we have our generator set up to back up our solar system. In this system, we did get the upgraded solar system. So we have three 100 amp hour lithium batteries. We have three 320 watt solar panels and we have a 3000 watt inverter. And then our backup from there is the Onan 5500 generator. All right, we're gonna give you a tour of the 
inside of the coach now. Pardon the mess on the right side. And if the audio is a little crappy, my apologies. We're in central Florida and it's uh, hotter than a firecracker. So we got the AC running. The Valor 42V13 that we have has an LG residential style microwave and my beautiful assistant Martha is going to do her best Vanna impression. All right, four burner Greystone residential style oven. Nice deep storage. Soft clothes pile of junk and my god we got too many remotes as martha shows over huh they're lined already from the factory which is nice it's not raw wood it's soft closing all right these are where i'm gonna hide things from martha because you'll see it's on top of the microwave that's where the m m's are going <laughs> on this side we got our circuit breakers and our fuse panel so fuse panel breaker breaker and more m m storage up here this is kind of neat because it opens to both sides so whatever we whatever we want to put in there we'll have access to huge huge storage that's almost armpit length for martha so it's definitely my shelf all right another huge storage on top of the fridge speaking of fridge we have an ever chill rv style so it's a 12 volt and so far, this darn thing is cold, cold, cold. And let's show you, wow, looks like we're on the starvation diet today. And it's got a tray, nice deep. So for the two of us in this RV, this is gonna be plenty of storage. Our pantry with the motion detecting lights. So as soon as we open the door, and it's lit all the way up and down instead of just having a light up top. So the entire right side is lit. See. Almost armpit length again. We'll go we'll go seven eighths for Martha. And that's with my hand extended out, not flat. All right, so the countertops here are a epoxy resin for weight. So they're a lightweight. They have folding ends, so you have additional counter space let me step back so you can see what it looks like so there we go you have additional countertop space that goes up and down i really like the drying cover we've got a stainless steel farm style sink pull out arm and since we're facing this direction this is our dinette uh, no carpet, all vinyl. You'll see it folds up, so it's a pretty flush. I mean, they'll call it flush, but I'll say it's a uh, within an inch. The dinette has seating for four, which if you did have four would be super tight fit. It's on its own slide. There's our sexy truck, Bab. And if you don't know Bab, that's big beep booty. On this side of the island, you got some electrical. And as their advertisement will tell you, no floor vents. All the vents are up on the island, so we're not gonna kick some crumbs under there. This is the underneath the sink. You got your hot and cold shut off, so you got a blue and a red, obviously that's your temperature. And each location has hot and cold valves, the shut off valves. So this door you can't see that looks black is actually solid glass and that door goes out to our side patio which you'll see on this video. This is Callie. She has claimed the couch as her own. It's a three-seater sofa, both end pieces recline. It has a center console piece that folds down. Move Callie, move Callie, get down. So it has two cup holders, it has a plug and two USBs. Yeah, so all three seats recline. The middle one has a manual pull. At the end of the couch, Chris should be able to pop it out and have additional cup holder on each side. Okay, 
So for this part, Chris is gonna demonstrate above our entertainment center. This is the shelving above the entertainment center. As you can see, it's about a hand length uh, deep in there. That's a big hand. From guy perspective, we'll call it 12 inches. <laughs> so these are gonna be, Chris. he's gonna get the top two shelves for sure. So above the couch, we have three cabinets. Uh, with these, you have to be mindful and not open the middle one the same time as the other two because there is a overlap. There is an overlap. But it's a great place for additional storage. Uh, how deep is it in there, Chris? Um, it's at an angle, so I would say over here is probably about two feet. On this side, I would say it's closer to a, maybe a foot. Perfect. But it's a good storage size. It's plenty of space. Okay, I'm going to let you give a tour of the loft but as we're calling it, the attic. So that was the loft. And for us, it's just gonna be an attic area. It's gonna be storage. We're not gonna actually have anybody sleep up there. MCD nightshades, we don't have the day nightshades. Uh, from what we've seen so far, one of the secrets to the MCDs is don't pull on the plastic pull on the side and that way the roller itself so if you look I'm pinching here to pull down versus pulling on the bar if you pull on the bar it can break okay so over here daytime nighttime, nighttime. daytime Nighttime. Okay, so what do you think, Callie? This is our new home. We get to go bye-bye all the time. We go for a ride. You like to go bye-bye? You love your new house? Callie, you like go bye-bye? <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. One of the nice things about these chairs is during transit, we do strap them in, but it also acts as another storage area. We got four chairs total, but two of them fold, and we're actually going to put those two in storage as it's going to be just Chris and I on these adventures. So we have a LG Smart TV, so it's a 50 inch HD Smart TV. We have a JBL speaker system in here. Um, yet to see how it sounds. Haven't played with that yet. We have a 50 inch wide fireplace. The fireplace is a electric heater and has pretty colors for ambiance. One of the things that Martha really loved about the Valor, real glass backsplash. One of the neat things about the shelves being other than just having them be soft close and having a magnetic latch, which is nice. So from a locking perspective, they're less likely to come out since they are locked by magnets. The other thing Alliance does that's pretty cool is these are reinforced. So they're set up to support 90 pounds. One of the modifications that we're gonna do here shortly is we're gonna take the table and actually rotate it. So Chris and I can both admire the view out of these atrium windows. So there's three air conditioners in this unit. They are the Coleman Mach, M-A-C-H, and two of them dump directly in, so they're not set up on a tracking or event system. The kitchen one th that's directly above the island, so you'll see here, so the kitchen island, and here, the air conditioner. So this air conditioner is actually running right now. So if it's not that loud, um, wonderful. If it is, my apologies. But from a listening perspective and having a conversation, this thing is incredibly quiet. I'm gonna put the ace, I'm gonna put the microphone up to it so you can hear it. Comparing this to our last one, what would you say? In our previous travel trailer, the AC unit was so loud that you end up sounding like you're shouting at each other to have a conversation. This is the thermostat for the mock air conditioner, the one on the right. It's a really simplistic system. It's, it's fan, cool, 
and heater all in one. We also have a max air vent system in this trailer. So this one is for the max air that is directly above the stove. So this is the max air vent with the rain sensor. So a very nice upgrade that came factory standard from Alliance. It's got LED lights everywhere. And I actually don't mind the pendants. One thing I love about this unit, so there's no carpet. There's no carpet under the slides, and that's something that they pride themselves upon. It definitely sets them aside. Love the finish of it. And there's no vents on the floor. It's actually kind of tucked away. And apologize for the dirt on the ground. We are literally moving in today. Yes. We are moving in today, getting settled in, but we wanted to make sure we filmed this for you to kind of give you a tour. Okay, you guys, here is our master bathroom. So it does have a backlit light. It has storage up above, a nice size medicine cabinet, and we do have shelves down below and storage. Down. So this is a huge premium residential shower. I love it. I love the finish. Love that it has a seat in an area where you can put a leg up to shape your legs if you do that sort of thing <laughs> love how nice and bright it is and that there is a light in there so it does have a fan it's very important for a shower especially after taking a shower so our toilets are porcelain and what's great about these toilets they're actually soft clothes We have two entrances to the master bath. We have one that goes into the hall and we have the other one here in the master bedroom. There you have it folks. This is where the magic actually really happens. Okay, so this is our master bedroom. We have a RB king size bed. The mattress that comes straight from the factory is a Serta mattress, but honestly, we're switching it out. On each side of the bed is USB chargers along with residential plugs. I'll show you that. We have a nice headboard. We have the nighttime shades in here as well. We have lights above the bed. We have two side closets. So there's one closet and then it's another side closet. So we have a 32 inch 12 volt Connex TV, nighttime shade. Here's our dresser. So we have three drawers in this dresser uh, and we have what's called hidden storage. So this is where you're gonna put your valuables. And looky there. If you guys know us, you know we're huge Disney fans and Star Wars fans. So with the closets, when you go to travel, all you do is you close the closet door and you lock it. That simple. Keeps it from opening. Now for the inside closet. So inside the closet is really huge. And it's actually prepped for a washer and dryer. It does have a couple outlets in here. Um, Chris and I keep going back and forth deciding if we want a washer and dryer or a washer and dryer combo. So what are your guys' thoughts on that when you're going full-time RVing? If that's a must or should you just skip it and go to the laundromat, get all your laundry done within a couple hours? What's important to know in any RV is where your emergency exits are. We're inside the garage. It's prepped for a washer and dryer. That goes inside the house. Dual pane windows. Happy Jack system, queen bed up top, the three season doors. 
and later we'll show you where these ladders go. There's a back patio and a side patio and the ladder in the middle is for um, the queen bed up top which does lower down and it's also for what we call the attic but there's an actual loft. Here's the bathroom in the garage. We have a nice size mirror, sink outlets. There is a fan in here. Porcelain toilet. And we do have some storage under here. Epoxy countertops. We'll show you later, but this door does access the side patio from inside the garage. And we have another door just like this inside the living area that access the patio as well. We have a 12 volt TV. I believe it's a 32 inch and we have storage up above. And as Chris is demonstrating, it does pull down and swivels. Hey guys, Chris and I are staying at the Orlando Kissimmee KOA. It does have a side awning, but it has been a little windy, so we're not keeping the awnings out. We just had our first barbecue. We have one of these cute little baby Traegers. I love it. There's the front door, but I'm giving a tour of the outside. So we have the side patio out. What I love about it is that it always faces the campsite in. So we have our zero gravity chair set out. We do have a TV under there. If you enter in this door, it accesses the living area. And to close up the side patio, so you can even do it one handed. I love the stairs. They're really nice and stable. Fold out stairs here, which is great because if Chris and I are on the road, we can access the side garage and use the half bath in there. There's an air compressor down here. Because it is a toy hauler, what this is, it, it's a vent. There's one on the other side. So here is the back patio. I love this. I love both my patios. So no matter where we're at, we can actually use one or both. So at this campsite, as you can see, it is huge. So we can use both. The stairs are adjustable. So it's easy to open the toy hauler, the back side of the toy hauler. Uh, you pull on the yellow cord and it just starts coming down and then you would come around and pull the rest down. So inside. So the door does have a lock. To get out, it swings in. One of my favorite features is that it actually utilizes the whole square footage. I've seen others that cut about a foot in where it's kind of rounded at the corners. I don't like that. I like being able to use the full space. There is a third awning and it has lights. The first awning is above the stairs and then there's a second awning is above the side patio and the gar side garage door. So it does have a 50 amp. And I love that Alliance gave us the 50 amp cord. So it is at an angle instead of a straight plug, which it's better for your rig and for your power cord. So there's the side ladder. Up there is where Chris is gonna go check on the solar panels. We have three solar panels. Up there, that's the second vent. The other one's on the opposite corner. So we did install the new snap pads. They were really easy to put on. So we have two fuel tanks. So one goes to the generator, the other one is meant for toys, but our generator takes gas. So now we have two 30 tanks that are just for our generator. That is the slinky stinky. So I don't mess with that. <laughs> 
triple axle. So that window is to, that's above our couch. So because we're in Florida, we did encounter Hurricane Elsa. Um, we had really, really strong winds and a lot of rain. So before we went to bed, Chris came out here. We did have to use the extension cord because of where we parked, how we have the slide um, and everything. And we want to still be able to fit our truck in our spot. Chris came out here. And if you see over here, he put the power cord, the extension cord up so it doesn't get soaked. I'm sure it would have been fine. And then he did a handy dandy fine job wrapping up our surge protector to keep it protected from the rain because the rain was coming from ever which way. So we're hooked up to water. We do have a water filter. It does have a water filtration system in here. Uh, propane tank, storage. So we have our generator, batteries, their storage, and other stuff. We're gonna set the camera down for a little bit, get all comfortable and put stuff away.